Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Mega Productive Planner from the WorkLifeShop.com. It's available in two colors, vibrant and black, and in today's demo, we'll be using the black planner. Today's video won't be technical in nature, but more of a tutorial on how to make the most of each page since it is a guided planner. For technical help, you can check out our instructions and installation guide in the description box below or email info at theworklife.com and we'd be happy to help you troubleshoot any technical issues you might be experiencing. In today's demo, I'll be using the planners on an iPad Pro 11 inch on GoodNotes 5. The planners are compatible with other tablets, devices, and note-taking apps as well. And for more help on that, you can check out the installation guide or email us. Now, let's get started. So once you get into the planner, you'll notice we have all the sections broken down on the right hand side as well as on the dashboard so you can easily navigate to different sections of the planner using either the side panel or individual pages using the dashboard. So just getting into section one, reflection, this is where we want to do a lot of self-assessment and look at how our life currently is. So this is a wheel of life template. You basically rank yourself on a scale of one to ten across different facets of your life. And this is where you really want to determine, you know, what things you want to work on, what things you want to improve, where your wheel is more heavily weighted and where it could use a little bit more work. This next section is another self-assessment template. So it's three pages for you to assess how you stand on more micro parts of your life. So your physical health, your self-care, your happiness. This is just a good way to assess where you currently are and really dig deep into what things you want to improve or things that you can work on. And then we get into the goals and habits section of the planner. So this is where you're going to use the goal dashboard to set three big goals for yourself as well as write a note to your future self. And then you'll use the goal planner to break each of those goals down into an action plan. So this is where you'll see the three different goal planner sheets, each that align with one, two, and three goals. So again, you can duplicate and add and change the numbers or add your own on top of that depending on your preferences. And so the next page here is the routine and habit tracker. So a habit tracker for your morning, afternoon, and night routines. And then we get into our priority section. So this is the yearly priority planner. And how it works is you basically want to set one big priority for the year and break it down into quarterly priorities, which will then become monthly priorities. It's just a good way to go from macro to micro to understand what exactly you want to be focusing on. So that's why you've got all these different boxes, the J's and the M's all stand for different months. So just think of it as like a funnel. You're starting big and then you're narrowing down your focus quarter over quarter and month over month. This next page here is a template of the Eisenhower decision matrix. So it's a good way for you to write out your tasks based on urgency and importance and understand the best way to prioritize it or what action you should take depending on where it lands or ranks on this matrix. And then we get into the planning section. So this is where we have multiple templates. This is of course pretty self-explanatory, our daily to-do list template. And then we've got our daily planner where you can actually time block. And again, it's important to note that with all of these templates, you can duplicate them for every single day. You can either erase it or delete it or duplicate it depending on your preferences. But just know that that's an option that you can just, you know, customize it according to how you like it. And then we've got the daily review sheet. So this is a good way to do a quick self-reflection at the end of the day, assess what your best moment was, what worked, what didn't, what you want to do differently tomorrow. And then we've got one format of the weekly planner, which is a good way to kind of just write out big priorities. And then we get into the weekly time blocking planner. So this is where you can get a bit more micro with those priorities you set on the previous page and actually time block your day and create a schedule. And then we get into our weekly review template. So this is just a good practice to do at the end of every week, understand what things worked, what didn't, what your overall sentiment was. And then we get into the blank monthly planner. So it is completely undated. So you can just go in and add your own dates and days. And the month end review, again, it's another self-reflection point for you to look back on the previous month. And then we've got the year end review, which is just a good way to really make note of what was memorable that year, your top accomplishments and all of that. This last section here is dedicated to resources. So productivity books you want to read, podcasts you want to listen to, and of course, a section at the end for just general notes. So as mentioned, today's demo was done on the black planner. This is what it looks like in Vibrant. We've got the exact same format, same content. Nothing is different except for the coloring. So I would definitely recommend choosing a planner that's up to your style and your preferences. 